Hey, podcaster, I'm Tim Wahlberg, your podcast performance coach, with another actionable tip so you can sound like a pro and gain more podcast fans. Today's tip, knowing the power of silence. This is one of my favorite podcast and broadcast tools. Extremely effective when used properly, detrimental if abused. I've worked with some pretty great talent and I'm always delighted when a host knows when to shut up and is quiet on their own for dramatic effect. Arguably, the best storyteller on radio who used to use the pause brilliantly was Paul Harvey. I know it goes back a few years. Google him if you don't know who he is or what he did. I'll put a link at the bottom of my show notes for you. He had a syndicated radio column that ran for decades. It was about 15 minutes in length but I swear he only wrote 10 minutes of copy. That's how much he used silence. He was a master of cadence. He would speed through an idea, maybe a thought or part of a story that would have you on the edge of your seat and then stop and wait for you to catch up or perhaps for you to guess what's coming next. Imagine Shakespeare acting without pausing, or a great preacher giving a sermon, you've probably seen a TED Talk. Pick your favorite, watch the presenter, listen to them drill home their message, and I'll bet you'll notice a pregnant pause. Not just one, but many. However, we podcasters don't have the luxury of the visual element to fill in the gaps. Our listeners are on their own. So think about them when you leave them alone in their head with their own thoughts. Are you even giving them time to absorb what you're saying? When was the last time you went quiet in your podcast? Just by asking your listener a question, you can use the power of silence to acknowledge them. We try so hard to fill dead air. Sometimes we edit it out, but worse is when we try to fill it with ums and ahs or, or we develop other verbal crutches to cover it up. Let your message breathe. Give your ideas pause. Give your listener time to reflect. A good friend I still work with regularly in radio is great at letting his guests share their stories. This will sound weird, but I think he's at his best when he's not talking. When his guests get emotional or frustrated, he shuts up. He's conquered the urge that most of us would have to jump in, console, or to help out. But he's quiet. He lets them cry, quiver, or think. And by doing this, he pulls the listener into that raw emotional moment. You can almost hear the listener stop what they're doing and lean into their speakers to connect with that raw emotion he's recognized. When you have a guest, it comes down to listening and knowing when to be quiet and becoming comfortable with the silence. What a powerful tool to emphasize your message. And it doesn't matter what kind of show you have. Comedy, interview, NPR style storytelling, the power is in the pause. Try it. Use it sparingly though because you can easily turn off a listener. But used right, a little silence can change the way you or your guest tell a story and how impactful that message can be. Plus, it'll also make you sound more like a pro. And I hope that's just the tip you need. If you think that was a great tip, and I know you do, why not get more? Go back and binge listen to some of my other podcasts. They're only five minutes long. However, 